All right, so I was all stoked to do a deep dive into gender and sexuality in RimWorld. And uh, this article confuses me. I expected a lot more sort of relationship shenanigans based on the description of this article in Rock, Paper, Shotgun. And I read it and went, wow, this is really intense and how interesting that there's all this code stuff. And so I emailed the developer and said, can I please have the code? You know, I can promise you a fair hearing if nothing more. And so I get the game and I play it and it's a bunch of Fisher Price people building things. The closest thing to a relationship that I have achieved is people getting hearts over their head when they get close to another character. And um, I, it's funny because after all this complaining in this article about how male characters hit on female characters more, I had this whole love triangle that happened in that one character had an approval knock because they hit on this character and, you know, it, it, they were rebuffed that was, you know, male to female, and then a female was hitting on another female, and they were sad, and it was just, you know, exactly what you expect to happen, crashed on a planet fighting for survival. But, um, it, it's interesting because I guess all I can really say about this experience is it's proof that code doesn't tell the whole story. You, you have to experience the experience and go from there. Because if I hadn't known that there was a slant towards male characters hitting on female characters, I wouldn't necessarily have thought anything of it. And it's all well and good to be politically correct and criticize a developer for programming in the social pressures on men that we kind of expect, but that's the point, isn't it? It's sort of an expectation on men that they are the aggressor when it comes to these sorts of things. But um, I, I don't know. I, I have a really difficult time taking these complaints seriously. I kind of think that if you're playing this game for the romantic options, you're doing it for the wrong reasons. The whole, you know, people hitting on people is just sort of a difficulty modifier that makes things more interesting. The entire point of this game is to build really freaking awesome sprawling space colonies like you're seeing on the screen right here. And that's it. I mean, this is the point of the game. The the whole romance thing is, is a very secondary thing. And the, these are the parts where I get really frustrated as, you know, a, a game analyst who studies gender because sometimes people make altogether too big a deal about things that are really not the core of an experience. And this this gets into the question of developer freedom and does the developer have the right to make a game where men are essentially subject to the same social pressures based on the game's code that they're subject to in our world. And of, of course, developers should be able to create games like that. And the fact that they were even having these conversations is kind of a bizarre thing. I mean, I, I wish I could give you guys more on this one, but seriously, it's a bunch of people that look like those like Fisher Price figures that you play with when you're a little kid surviving in an alien wilderness and they're as you can see on the screen barely large enough to identify as people so i have a hard time being 
terribly concerned about their sex lives. And and I know I'm I'm supposed to take it seriously and, and be oh what what does what does gender mean in this game and and what gender means in this game is quite frankly next to freaking nothing. The the whole idea of playing this game is to build awesome structures and mine things and create power grids and so on and so on. It, it, it isn't about the bomb chicka bomb bomb. And I don't want to be judgmental, but I kind of have to wonder about people who get hung up on one element of a game that really has very little to do with the core mechanics of a game. I mean, I I apologize if I'm letting anybody down here, but this is this is really a nothing burger. And this is me saying this. Okay? There's sort of an uncanny valley here where these people don't really register as people. When they die, they get put in these teeny tiny rectangles that are supposed to be graves and and okay, they get sad, but come on. Like one of our responsibilities in being sort of social analysts of games that are entertainment products is to keep things in freaking perspective. And if we don't do that, our analysis isn't very useful. And I know people will argue that, you know, you sweat the small stuff because this stuff is important and gender affects everyone in the largest and smallest of ways and blah, 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 blah. But sometimes, sometimes you just need to relax and enjoy a game and take a game for what it is and not overly politicize things because what does it really matter if one little Fisher Price person you know identifies as male and one little Fisher Price person identifies as female and the the you know defined as male are are more romantically aggressive Th these aren't <laughs> this isn't I, I can't. I know this is shorter than most of my videos, but I just, I, I cannot squeeze any nutrition out of this nothing burger. I'm sorry, guys. I am so stunned that this is even a thing. And that, you know, the, the article, the original article is like, oh, Reddit talks about how to pick up attractive lesbians. Like, one... If you're spanking off to avatars that look like Fisher Price characters, seek help. And two, it's freaking Reddit. You don't judge anything socially by Reddit. Most subreddits are like cesspools of humanity that barely function. And a lot of people are engaging in, the, in this weird sort of online performance that they try to be edgy and sort of provocative and and say these bizarre things they don't even really mean because if you take anything seriously on the internet, you're doing it wrong. And part of the reason I don't want to devote too much time to this is that we shouldn't be taking fun this seriously in this way. But secondly, this is actually a really fun game for reasons that have nothing to do with this. And if, if you like these sort of simulators, these sort of builder simulators, it's, it's you know, it's uh, advertised as survival simulator. And yes, it is. But the cool thing for me is, is to create these layouts. I mean, you can create pretty big structures pretty quickly. And surviving the winter is really fun and all this stuff. And that's the purpose of playing this game. And again... I'm just reminded that game critics need to stop picking on these, you know, small little properties that, my God, just, just don't have the resources to appeal to this sort of politically correct stuff. 
and start looking at these games as, oh wow, someone or someone's put a lot of time and effort into this and you get to roll characters and you get to build things. There's lots of different textures and there's lots of different crops to mine and, and you know, no game is perfect and no game can do all the things. And so if you wanna have like this hot lesbian romance, this isn't the game to do it in. These characters don't even have feet, I don't think. So I, I wish I could be more intellectual about this, but I just can't. There's, there's certain things where I have to be a person and not a critic and just go WTF, this is taking this way too seriously, but on the bright side, I got to discover a really fun game that I really like and I've been really engrossed in. So I'm gonna go back to playing this really fun game that I'm really engrossed in instead of talking about this nonsense about LGBTQ Fisher Price characters. Okay? Okay, good work everyone.